Welcome back to Commodity Champions. We continue the conversation on how a hotter summer will be heating up sales for the ice cream industry. Joining me for this discussion is Mohit Khattar. He's CEO at Gravis Food, Baskin Robbins India. Mohit, hi, good to have you. And most of the companies which are doing beverages and ice creams are anticipating good sales this time around. What's your sense? The IMD has predicted a higher than normal temperature this summer. What is the sales estimates that you're looking at? Uh, I think the first good news is that, you know, we are in for a nice, long, hot summer. Uh, from various perspectives, uh, works well for us. And uh, we, we are looking at a very, very robust growth. Uh, in the last couple of years, we have grown faster than the industry. And our assumption is that this year, too, with the, the plans that we have, both in terms of new products, new marketing ideas, campaigns, promotions, etc., we should be pretty much uh, growing faster than the market. All right, that's good to know. And Mohit, how would you look at the overall Indian ice cream market as it stands right now? And as you said, your growth is higher than the overall industry. So what is the industry growth and what is your growth looking like? Uh, see, the Indian market per se is about 20,000 odd crores, growing at about 15 to 17% annu annually. And uh, there are various segments of the market. Uh, we, of course, operate in the premium end of the market with our Baskin Robin parlors and uh, uh, presence in retail and food service, etc. Uh, over the last two years, we've been averaging a growth of roughly about 30% annually. And we pretty much expect that even this year, uh, uh, you know, with our focus on innovations, with our focus on very, very new differentiated products coming into the market, we should be pretty much able to sustain the growth rates and the pace that we have set for ourselves. And those are very, very strong numbers, Mohit. Congratulations on that. Uh, also, the Indian ice cream market has seen entry from many new players. There are regional and domestic and international. Uh, there are ice cream parlors every nook and corner that you go. How are you looking at the Indian portfolio as it is now? You know, if, you, if I was to look at the Indian portfolio, you are very right that there have been several new entrants, specifically, you know, from within the Indian uh, market, regional, a lot of regional players have come in, a lot of national brands have introduced, maybe second brands, etc. And of course, then there is the good for you, healthy eating space where there are, there are some brands uh, that are coming in. Uh, I, I personally believe that most of the products being offered in the Indian market are Me Too products, specifically, if you were to look at the regional portfolios, if you were to look at some of the, what the national brands are trying to do, it, it's a lot of Me Too flavors that, that have been seen before. And, and which the Indian consumer is not is not necessarily new to. Uh, to my mind, if we were to really grow the market apart from growing availability in the Indian, uh, uh, you know, across cities in India, one has to also introduce a lot more newness in the market. There are several products. I mean, if you were to talk about products like sticks or cones, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, these are products that the customer has seen, experienced for the last many, many decades. Uh, the customer is now ready to try something completely new, experiences that they have not had before, both in terms of the kind of flavors that are on offer, as well as the kind of formats that are on offer. To my mind, the growth is going to come from newness in the market and not necessarily from repeating what is already there. And, and this is exactly what, as a player, Baskin Robbins has been striving to do, to offer you know far richer experiences to the customer and different from what has been there in the market. That's we, that's what our focus has been. Of course, towards this end, uh, there are investments which have gone in, uh, not just in terms of marketing or product development, but also, I mean, we, we've set up a completely new plan over the last two years, and uh, which gives us the ability to not just produce more uh, to keep, you know, in line with our growing demand, but also gives us added capability to produce very, very different kinds of products. So uh, that's our take. And uh, even this year, you know, there is a lineup of completely new products that we are bringing into the market. We believe that the customer is changing. The newer consumer is, is far more aware of what's happening around the world and therefore needs to be treated with respect. And you need to bring in the kind of flavors and the kind of products that are, that are working elsewhere in the world. Uh, Baskin Robbins is, of course, well placed to do that because as an international brand we have access to not just what's happening around the world uh, we have access to technology we have access to flavors and so on and so forth and and of course completely new formats as well so uh, that's something uh, you know what we will be doing playing to our strengths 
Mm. Mohito, you absolutely have me as one of those customers. I definitely am looking for something new in ice creams there. But as you talk about newer trends in market, and are the consumers also opting for healthy options like vegan and sugar-free and dry fruits? I mean, how much do you think is the penetration of these healthy desserts within the market? My, uh, you know, my sense here would be that the market is still very, very small in India. It, it is exceptionally small. Uh, yes, there has been some, uh, you know, buzz around it with several new entrants coming in and, uh, you know, all these brands introducing their products. So there has been some buzz around it. But if you were to ask me what's the size of the segment, I, I would say that it's not even uh, possibly, you know, between all the brands put together, they would be possibly not even 1% of the market. Uh, I mean, very, very small. Uh, at this point of time. Okay, so ice creams as it comes is still a very indulgence kind of a business and a category and we would keep it like that, wouldn't we, Mohit? But thank you so much for joining us on Commodity Champions. With that, it's wrap on this edition. Stay tuned because news continues on the other side.